Hey, welcome back. You know, lots of times I'll, I'll wait until the end of a segment like this to tell you about our Meals and Steals deal, but I want to tell you up front here because this one's going to sell out so fast. $20 worth of food at a fantastic spot here in town for just $10. You pay $10, you get $20 worth of food right off the menu, no special menu, and that's at Romeo and Julieta. And I want you to meet the owners here this morning because this is such a labor of love for Anjay and uh, Diana. Now, I was going to take a shot at both of your last names, <laughs> and then uh, I, I realized that was uh, an exercise in futility. So, Anjay, your last name is? Dobrovolsky. Dobrovolsky? Yes. Okay, so I did okay on that one. And, and Diana? Probolis. Probolis. All right, very good. The origin of those names has something to do with the restaurant in some way, with the, the type of food that you serve, I'm hoping, perhaps? Yes. Okay. Yes. <laughs> it's, uh, we have an Eastern European flair to our foods. Um, we have uh, a, a large number of tapas that we offer. Um, we try to be very unique in the foods that we offer along with very uh, boutique wines that we also and offer. And boutique wines. We're going to go talk to the wine guy, Michael Gallardo, here in just a couple of seconds. But I want to talk about how you got uh, Romeo and Julieta started in the first place. And, and after going through that whole exercise with your names, a lot of people just call and ask for Romeo or Julieta, don't they? When they, when uh, they call in? They ask me if I'm Julieta all the time. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so you two started this uh, and literally built it yourselves? Yeah, it's sort of a retirement dream for us to um, have a bar and we both like to we both like good wine we like good food we both love to cook and he's an awesome cook I have to say uh -huh. and um, so we just decided that that's what we wanted to do so we um and so you went with what you knew a lot of these are family recipes yep. yes yes uh, the a lot of the recipes that have the Eastern European flavor come from originally Krakow Poland for his grandma's recipes. So grandma's recipes mm -hmm. is what you're going to find. And tell me yes. again where Romeo and Juliet is. It's on 47th and Monroe off of Aldine Drive in the Talmadge area. Okay, in Talmadge. So folks, uh, again, I want you to go to our website, uh, San Diego 6 com. click on Meals and Steals, and you'll get $20 worth of food at Ro Romeo and Juliet's for just 10 bucks. Okay, the, the, no trick there. So, Angie, let's walk over here to the kitchen, you and I, and let's go talk to you, the, our wine guy, Michael Gallardo, and let's pair up some of these fine boutique wines that you were talking about just a minute ago. And we'll pair it up and, and give some folks some ideas of the types of food that you're serving here. Uh, first off, down here on the end, Michael, um, good to see you, by the way. Yes. What, are, what are we working with here? Uh, here we've got the uh, Wolf Clip Shiraz. Now, this is uh, from Robertson's uh, Winery in South Africa. Uh, which is a great pairing uh, with the schnitzel, which is, uh, of course, three types of meats. And you want to elaborate on that? But tell me about the schnitzel. Uh, yeah, it, it is a mixture of uh, organic beef, um, ground turkey, and ground pork. And it's a mixture of raw eggs and fresh garlic, uh, fresh parsley, um, sautéed onions. And then what we do with it is we, we make the mixture all mixed in very well. We bread it lightly and we saute, pan saute it. Oh, beautiful. Now tell me about pierogi here. Uh, pierogi is also a very original food that comes from uh, Eastern Europe, which is a very light dumpling filled with uh, a variety of different fillings. Wine guy, what goes with that? So what goes great with this is the Pinot Grigio. Of course, this is from uh, Italy. Uh, the Ladoka, and because of its uh, honeysuckle and the burst of citrus, with the pierogi, you've got your cucumbers, your fresh uh, dill in there, so it's great pairing for both of them. The one complements the other. Light fare with light wine. I'm going to hurry through one more here because I don't want to miss this. What have you got here? Well, this is, this is a uh, very old recipe also, which is a, a wild mushroom soup, Ooh. which is made from porcini yes. mushrooms. Um, diced potatoes and um, um, sour cream base. Uh, it's very, very creamy yet not very um, heavy. All right, so you've paired this with what? We've paired this with the uh, Chateau Lagrange, which is a Bordeaux from Bordeaux, France, which is a blend of Merlot, Cabernet, and Cab Franc. So the complement of each other, you're going to pull out all those flavors, which blend well together. So all, right. all three of these wines, boutique just like their food, fabulous. Get to Romeo and Juliet's awesome place. Romeo and Juliet in Talmadge. It's great to see you. Andre, thank you so much. Thank Michael, you very much. thank you. Diana, she's still over in the living room over there. <laughs> um, don't forget, folks, you go to San Diego6.com, you click on Meals and Steals, and you get this deal, $20 worth of food for just $10. 
Buy more than one. San Diego Living, coming right back. <laughs> 